Netflix, the perfect match where nobody is still together. Everybody was just on there for a paycheck. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me tell you the only reason Dom and Georgia won is because Chase couldn't keep his big mouth shut. So everybody wanted to prove him wrong. Did you see how mad Joey was? He's like, I even proposed to this girl and y'all didn't let us win. No, you've been giving her that two inches for no reason. Cause y'all wasn't going to win and nobody is together. Let's get into this review because I feel like I already gave you what you needed. Period. So I guess on the perfect match, we still trust in Nick Lachey with people's love life. I would not trust Nick Lachey as far as I can see him. If Jesus himself said, trust Nick Lachey with your love life, I'd be like, just take me down to hell because it ain't gonna work you know Nick Lachey can't find nobody no goddamn love he had one successful couple that's it Cameron and Lauren <laughs> that's all we got everybody else has failed to make an effort anyways let's get into this because Dom and Georgia are not together the show was filmed a year ago they didn't even go on their trip they said I said I'm not surprised Dom like whoever like him and that's the truth I'm telling y'all the truth. One minute he liked Francesca, the next minute he was in it with Georgia. And then the next minute after the show, Georgia was with Francesca's ex. Jesus, fix it, okay? And the thing is, Chase was speaking facts. It just came from the wrong messenger, okay? Because he like, how you like her, now you like her. But then Georgia wasn't even checking for him anyway. It's kind of funny because these guys' preferences don't even want them, which is hilarious to me. But it just seemed like everybody was on there for a check, period. And Joey was hot. Did y'all see Joey's face when they announced who won? He was mad. I said, look at Joey's face. Look at Joey, hot thin him up because you've been faking it for the cameras. Him and Carousel was never going to work. He dissed her before. He was just doing this for the cameras, proposing all that, got her hopes up, giving her that two inches he said he got. Girl, not you faking it for two inches. Mm -mm. What's two inches, like this? <laughs> nope. Once I met a man like that, he was like, I, uh, da, 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 da. can you handle this? Can you handle? No, sir. Nobody can handle it, okay? You're going to fall in if I get too wet, wet. Anyways, he was hot, okay? He was upset. They ain't no longer together either, okay? And then the thing with Nick. Oh, don't get me started on daddy Nick. Nick, listen, fame be giving these men an ego they should not have. Nick really think he that guy. Nick thinks he's that guy. He shot his shot again with Francesca. Francesca don't like you, Nick. Nick, you need to get a girl that play video games and all that stuff just like you, Nick. Nick, Francesca is not in your league. I'm going to tell you that. She's just not in your league. Quit trying. But fame to made Nick think he's that guy. And it's like, are you serious? And here go Elsie giving him all these compliments. I like this about you. I like that about you. Da 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 da. I worship you, Daddy Nick. I worship you. And this fool couldn't say nothing nice about her. Cause he she wasn't his preference. He wanted a Francesca, okay? I said, Nick, you would get played by a Francesca. She would cheat on you constantly. You'd be at home crying in tears with a Francesca. Damien can't even handle a Francesca. Neither can Abby handle a Francesca. I don't think the world can handle Francesca. And really, now that I feel like it, Francesca was just on there for a goddamn check. This hoe played three people, Dom, Damien, and then Abby, okay? And then decided... None of y'all my perfect match. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go call my ex and see how you doing, okay? Period. I said, now, I think this was a money grab for everybody at this point. And the thing about Francesca, the nastiest thing she said is when she said, I pulled a girl's tampon out with my teeth. I said, ew, that sounds disgusting and that doesn't sound hot at all. Like, why would you do that? That is disgusting. I'm just, I'm still stuck on that part. Like, um, ew, did you think we were going to be like, oh my God, that's so hot. Like, no ma'am, no, no ma'am, that, that's, that's very disgusting. Like, ew, who, 
Never in the history of me watching lesbian porn have I seen a hoe pull out somebody's tampon with their teeth. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, oh, jeez. Cringeworthy. I'm just saying, okay? I wonder if Francesca is really that like that like that freaky that nasty or if it's something in her subconsciously because she's a pretty girl you ain't got to do all that okay but you know what who am i who am i but damn jay shanice on youtube this is what i get for not doing love islands this is what i get i got cursed by the gods this is what i get then i got stuck with perfect match on netflix i could barely get through it i started fast forwarding it I started because I did not care, okay? I literally did not care that much to go through with this. People were like, it's so good. It's so good. Let me get to the part that people probably want me to get to. Huh? Ooh, let's breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in because I'm about to rant, okay? Breathe in for all my women of color. Ha! Listen, I know y'all mad. But this is the same thing that's been going on on reality TV forever and ever. I mean, not with Flavor Flav, because Flavor Flav had every flavor, okay? Flavor Flav did not discriminate against the women's, okay? <clears throat> but when Aunt Sophia picked Chase over Calvin, I screamed. I said, don't do that. Don't do that. Chase is not into you. Chase, I don't even know if Chase has ever dated a black woman, okay? I know what y'all thinking, but sometimes us black women can see a man that don't like black women a mile away, a mile away. Like, mm, he do not mess with no black woman. No, he don't. Neither does Dom. I don't know why they sent him on a date with Colony. He's like, oh, I like Georgia. But then I didn't like how he talked to Colony when he was like, I could be a stay at home dad. She's like, uh-uh, you gonna work. I said, wait, would you have said that to Georgia? No, because you would have been making the money, but you expect this black woman to take care of you. Boy, you better go on to the nail salon and get your nails painted. Get the fuck out of here with that, Dom. Are you serious? But see, your preference didn't like you. Ha! See, what's going on in the world is that even other women of other races are realizing the black man. Y'all don't want to go there. Y'all don't want to go there. Trash. Trash. I've been dating black men since I was 19. I'm 36 now. And I'm telling you, the last black man I was with, I said, you're going to be the last. You're going to be the last. Okay? That's it. That's all. I done tried it for years. Damn near 20 years. It ain't worked out. But we, you know what? I ain't going to go there. <laughs> then, they going to match Bartiz with Diamond. Are you shitting me? Bartiz with Diamond? No, and the only reason Bartise picked Izzy because she was probably going to give him some because Abby told him, I ain't effing on camera. I'm not going to disappoint my mom or my sister. <laughs> Y'all don't want to hear that because sometimes black men use black women as fetishes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I know more black men married to other races of women that want a black woman on the side. Y'all don't want to talk about it. Y'all don't want to talk about it, okay? See? <laughs> I'm so sick of these shows making black women feel some type of way. If you're going to do a show, Netflix, you start putting men that like everybody, not just one race of woman. And quit putting black men on here that don't like their own kind. Fuck them. Period. Because let me tell you something. They prep you. Look at Chris Brown. Chris Brown was all on that girl. That girl was like, anyways. He threw her phone. But that's your preference, right? <laughs> you know what? This might have to be a separate video. Because, listen, the way my life is set up, I could go all day. <laughs> I could go all day on this subject. I'm sick of this shit. You think black women wouldn't date a, a man like Dom? You're a liar. Okay, back to perfect match, okay? Because I went down the deep end and was not about to return. So let's get back into this, okay? First of all, I didn't like how Francesca uh, talked to Savannah, okay? How she talked to Savannah, but she didn't talk to Georgia like that. Quit trying to test people's gangsta. I can't stand that. And let me tell you something. Will, Will is good looking. Will can have his shirt off around me all day looking like Tarzan. Baby, I'm Jane. <laughs> let's go get a monkey. I don't know. A tiger. A bear. I ain't scared. Ooh. Will is good looking. Okay? I'm going to give him that. 
I'm going to give him that. But he wanted Francesca too. I said, what is the obsession with Francesca? I just don't see it. She is a pretty girl, but she must have like that sex appeal. I might have to meet her in person. She might be oozing like just sex. Okay, just, ooh, you know, just, because mm, every man wanted her. But I'm hoping at the end of the day that there is not another season of Perfect Match, but how Netflix is set up, they probably already filming another one, okay? But I didn't like it. I just was not interested in it. I just wasn't. I just could not anymore with the Perfect Match. I don't know what else I'm missing. Nobody's together. They filmed it a year ago. It is what it is. I love me some Chloe and Shane, right? I love them as separate people, not together. I cannot stand it. Shane was acting stupid. Chloe was like, what's going on? Is Mitch still a virgin? I was trying to figure that out too. I was like, is Mitch still? Mitch is fine. Mitch is fine. He was fine on the circle. He still got it. I said, is he still? Chloe, you didn't take that down. That's all right, girl. Chloe is cute. I knew Chloe was going to be on here. She done been on Too Hot to Handle, The Circle, now The Perfect Match. She wanted to be on Love is Blind. This girl is on her reality, okay? But Shane was tripping with her, and I do understand why Shane was mad, because when she got back with her ex, Mitch, they jumped in the pool. The pool just came down on Shane. Shane was upset. Then her and Shane got back together, but Shane couldn't let it go. Shane didn't want to be second choice. I knew they wasn't going to make it. I knew it, but then Shane says he had a lot going on with Love is Blind plus this show, too much. It was just too much, but I loved him as separate people because I do think Shane is cool. He just got a lot of energy, okay? And Chloe is just a happy-go-lucky girl. They wasn't going to make it, okay? And Izzy and Bartise was just playing games trying to get their check. You know, as many episodes as they show you on, that's how much you get paid, okay? So you got to be on a lot of episodes so you can get your check. That's it. That's all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I should have did goddamn Love Islands. But Love is Blind is coming back at the end of the month. So we have that. And it is what it is. And if you get disrespectful in my comments, I will block you, okay? Because this is a new year, new me, same old sh Okay? <laughs>